Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be making gemari. I'm probably butchering that. We are going to be making seaweed rolls, fried seaweed rolls, rolls. <laughs> But these are so delicious. You can eat them fried or you can eat them just rolled up in the seaweed. This is such a great recipe. You guys are gonna love it. Please try it. Sorry, my sink. Please try this recipe. We'll also be making some topoki, um, a spicy rice cake. So it's spicy, it's sweet. Yeah, and this is the way I like it. So I hope that you guys enjoy the recipe. Also, I got my makeup done today and it's a little bit intense, but uh, it's nice. I don't know. Anyways, let's get cooking. Hi hey guys, the voiceover is back. I know a couple of you were saying in the last video that you wanted the voiceover back, so here it is. The first thing you wanna do is just take your vermicelli and soak it into water. So your glass noodle, you're just gonna soak that in water. So the first prep we're gonna start is actually gonna be for our stock. So for the stock, you're gonna need sardines, kelp, hot pepper, onion, green onion, and uh, mushrooms. Okay, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you have all the guts, the black guts removed from the sardines. So we're just gonna take those out. We're just gonna give a rough chop to everything. Oh, and we can't forget garlic and uh, ginger, of course. So now here is the prep for our seaweed rolls. You're gonna need some carrots. We're gonna mince everything and we're gonna save some uh, carrots to the side for the uh, topoki actually. So you're just gonna mince up some chive, green onion, green Korean pepper, uh, carrots, and then of course there's some julienne carrot we're saving at the side for the topoki. Okay, now for the actual spicy rice cake, you're going to need fish cake, scallions, uh, chive, and of course, rice cake. So right now I'm just cutting the fish cake into triangles. And there we go. Everything is prepped and organized and measured out and ready for a successful, a successful cooking time. <laughs> Okay, so now for the actual topoki sauce, we're gonna be doing half a tablespoon of granulated garlic, black pepper, three tablespoons of rock sugar, two tablespoons of red pepper flake, and then one tablespoon, one full tablespoon of gojujang, one fourth cup of water, one tablespoon of corn syrup, one tablespoon of soup, soy sauce and we're just gonna give that a mix keep in mind i'm using a half a tablespoon for everything so it seems like more but it's just i'm giving you the equivalent to one tablespoon okay now we're going to be charring our aromatics for our stock base so we're just gonna throw everything in the pot putting one or half a tablespoon of peppercorn Give that a quick char, and then we're gonna be adding one liter of water. Add in our kelp, our mushrooms, our sardines, and then we're gonna be adding one more liter of water, and then another, so a total of three liters of water we're gonna be adding into the pot. Okay, now we're gonna bring that up to a simmer, and we're gonna remove all the scum from the top that comes to the top. And in the meantime, we are going to boil our glass noodles. Once that water comes to a boil, you're gonna remove them right off the pot. Once you have them strained, you're gonna pat them dry. Once you've pat them dry, you're just gonna set them aside and you're gonna cut them with scissors. Once you have them all chopped up, we're gonna add in our minced vegetable that we got ready for our seaweed. We're gonna mix that in. You could mix a little bit of uh, sesame seed oil into it if you want, but keep make sure you're keeping it dry, so just a tiny, tiny bit. And then we're gonna do about a full tablespoon of chicken stock. Okay, so here's the seaweed we're gonna be using. There's two different ways you could do this. You could start by cutting it horizontally once and then filling it in and rolling it all at once. Or you can cut it vertically one more time. So horizontally, then vertically, and you can fill up a sheet this large. 
I prefer this method more. I find that it's easier to roll. I find that it's easier to pack in the noodles evenly, get an even roll this way. So I like to do it this way. Uh, okay, so now for a batter, we're just gonna use one full egg, two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of starch, four tablespoons of water, mix some salt, and you're ready to go. You can roll the seaweed rolls in flour if you want. This is completely optional. But while those are sitting, we want to get back to the stock. We're going to strain it now. It's been about an hour and a half. It's been about an hour and a half, two hours. I've let it sit. And then we're just going to let that sit. And we're going to start making our topoki. So I actually ended up putting all the veg inside. Don't do that. Save half of it for garnish. <laughs> um, and then you're going to add about one liter of stock and half a liter of water into the pot then you're going to add in your sauce mix and then add in your topoki add in your rice cake sorry add in your fish cake you can add your fish cake in sooner you could add it later it's up to you um, i added it in sooner and actually you're just going to let it sit and boil and then you're going to reduce it to a simmer Okay, while that's reducing and the rice cakes are cooking, we're going to start by frying our seaweed rolls. So you're going to put some canola oil or whatever high smoke point oil into a pan. You're going to get it hot. Then you're going to throw your seaweed rolls into the batter. And we're just going to get a light cook on them. We're going to fry them lightly just until you can barely see any color. And then we're going to take them off, let them sit. We're going to clean the oil up, get all those bits out so it doesn't make our seaweed rolls bitter. And then we are going to fry them again. And then once they're golden brown, we're going to take them out and put them onto a wire rack so they remain crispy. So while those are sitting, we're back to tending our topoki. We're letting that reduce, boiling it, simmering it, letting that baby reduce. And then once it's reduced, it's going to look thick, glossy, beautiful like this. I ended up taking out a bunch of the chives because there's so much it started making the sauce look um darker so i took some out and then i'm adding uh fresh ones in some scallions for garnish yummy delicious let's eat <laughs> hey guys here we have the fresh uh gemari. 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 and then we have our fried ones and our topoki and i'm just so excited to eat so let's get into it it took me forever to get everything because I did everything from scratch. So I'm excited to just dig into this. And of course, guys, I have over here the coldest of water. Wow, I'm like sucking very little water. I need to fill that up. This is complete fire. Mm. Really hot. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Oh, whoops.
Ja. Fiskæg. Mm. Det var så højt. I don't know why. It's really loud outside tonight. Which is quite confusing because it's like 3 a.m. I do live downtown, right? So. <gasps> so everything's super delicious. This is like slightly spicy because of the pepper. It just feels like such a great full flavor because of the chicken stock put into it. And everything just goes together so well. Mm. Sorry, I've had a long day, so I'm just like eating because I had breakfast, I had lunch, and then this is dinner for me, and I started making dinner at a around 10 30 and I was taking my time because I was doing other stuff I'm so hungry actually this was my first time making the gimari with Two parts flour, one part starch, but I don't think I would do that again. I think it would stick to two parts, uh, equal parts, because it's not as crunchy this time. Which is kind of sad because that's the best part. <laughs> You know? I have some ice in my cup finally. <laughs> Some people really don't like that sound. I don't know, I love it.
I was just thinking how I would sell this tteokbokki, the spicy rice cake. It's so good. Honestly, if you're looking for the recipe, this is the one. This is it. There is quite a bit of sugar in this though. But honestly, personally, I don't think I'd be able to eat it any other way. Like actually, mm. it's so spicy. the sweetness like counteracts it you know Wow. I am so shook. Like, I know people don't like it when I toot my own horn, but I'm not allowed to be impressed, you know? 
Guys, we have to learn how to, to impress ourselves. You know what I mean? Like, there has to be a certain standard. And when we meet it, it just feels nice. Like, I'm going to tell you this right now. Since I've come onto YouTube, one of my goals has always been to come up with a really good topoker recipe. You know, cooking, you don't get it the right the first time. Cooking is really an art. And it takes a couple of tries before you really nail down the flavor that you're looking for, right? And this is the flavor I've been, you know? Wait, this recipe? Is what I would go crazy for when I every time I went to Korea and I would get topoki spicy rice cake on the street. Mm. Cause the good topoki is the street vendors right and I'm always, you can just be like oh i can't wait for me to figure out a really good recipe and like i'm just so proud of it guys <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking my face because the other day I filmed a video. I was so proud of this video. And I had literally sauce from like here to here. Because I wasn't looking at myself, right? I was so upset. I was like, there's no way I could post this video. It was so bad. Like, I was grossed out even watching it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I really hope you try this recipe, altered equal parts flour and starch. And eat it raw. Like, not fried because it just tastes so good. Not, like, not fried. Even when just stuffing it into the seaweed and eating it like that. Oh, it's so good. Right now the seaweed has gone a little bit softer, but when the seaweed is like crispy still, you pop it in, it's delicious. It's still delicious, but there's something about, you know, the crispy seaweed is just so good. But anyways, bomb, bomb recipe. If you always, sorry, I'm getting it all over my coldest water bottle. I'm gonna wipe it after. Um, if you have always wanted to try topoki in Korea, like a Korean stand, Korean vendor, and I, I'm not even, like I'm being dead serious, a Korean vendor, like a really good one, this is the recipe. I promise you. I would honestly, sometimes like when I make certain foods, like for Italian food, for example, um, my ex-boyfriend from, um, from, high, from high school slash I, elementary school because I met him just as I finished elementary school and I was going into grade nine. But anyways, we met up like a couple years ago before like Ari and I started dating. And um, 
we met up and I made him food. I made him spaghetti. I made him like a really good pasta dish. And I was really scared to have him eat it because he's Italian, you know? But when he had it, he enjoyed it so much. He was like, wow, this is really good, Veronica. I would be, the reason why I'm saying that story is because I would feel honestly confident letting any of my Korean friends try this. Like even Sang, you know Sang? Guys, I love Sang. I would feel super, super, super confident giving him this to try it. I think he'd be really proud of me actually if he tried this, it's so good. But anyways, I hope you tried this recipe. I love you guys so much. And until next time, Bye.